To assess the accuracy of a forecast, we're going to do an error check. So for my forecast here that I've just completed, I'm going to take the observed values, the houses sold, and the forecast, and I'm going to examine the difference. And the error is going to be what the observation was, in this case 135, minus the, for, the forecast of 128. So I would start this with my first forecast, in this case, September 2014. And I would do this for all of my forecasts to the very end of my data. So to this last observation of December 2021. Now I've got a lot of errors. Um, it's really hard to assess just based on looking at how these errors fluctuate. So what we do is we have a singular error assessment value. Um, and sometimes we will use the mean average deviation. And sometimes we'll use the root mean square error. In this case, I'm going to do the calculation for the root mean square error. So breaking down this expression, inside my square root, I have in the numerator here the sum of the errors squared. Well, there's a handy function in Excel that allows me to calculate the sum of the errors squared. And that function is the sum squared function. So now I'm going to go into my errors and I'm going to highlight all my errors starting at September 2014, control shift down all the way to my last error in December 2021. And I have the sum squared of all my errors. I'm also going to need the count of the number of errors. That's this n in our denominator. That's the count of the number of errors. So n is going to be equal to the count of, again, I highlight all my errors. So from September 2014 all the way to December 2021, and I get the count of 88 errors. Now my RMSC is going to be the square root of this sum of squared errors divided by the count of the errors. So you can get a better look at the formula, the square root of the sum of the squares of the errors divided by our count, giving me 22.229. Now I could also do this RMSC calculation without uh, breaking it into these multiple steps. So erasing all of this, let's do our RMSC calculation again. And this would be by taking the square root, and then what's inside our square root? It's going to be the sum squared of all of our errors, control shift down, divided by the count of all of the errors again. Control shift down, and I still get 22.229. So taking a better look at that formula, this is what I have is a square root, and then I have those two steps that I previously did um, embedded in our square root. We have the ratio of the sum squared of all of our errors divided by the count of all the errors. So you can do it in multiple steps or in one.